Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more CK2 Saxon Savagery. We finally made Sweden into our tributary and it took a long freaking time. It was a very, very painful war. Turns out Sweden can be pretty darn strong when they want to be. But in the meantime though, that's all done. There we go! I was wondering when my font was gonna reassert itself. Wonderful. Alright, so we do want to continue pushing to try and form Germania. Uh, it's gonna be a little while still. I believe if we take a look-see at um, Saxony, Germania. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we need to control 80% of the de jure counties in order to form the German Empire, which is a lot. Right now, we own a third of them. So we have a very, very, very long way to go. Pretty much, I need to conquer almost all of East Francia here, all of Bavaria, all of Bohemia. If I can get all of this, that would probably be sufficient. I'm not sure if I care about attacking Lombardy or Avaria. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to take a lot of stuff over, basically. Now, what would help with that, probably, is taking, uh, Austrasia as a tributary. Could use their troops. They've only got a thousand right now, but... Uh, if I took them over, I would get their money, their troops. Pretty good. I'm not actually intending to conquer anything from them for a while. I do need to take some territory from France, specifically this one. This is part of Germania. But aside from that, I don't worry too, too worry about France either. East Francia, however, that's the big one. All right, who are you? The King of Denmark. Oh, a new king. I wasn't aware the other guy had died. Uh, we request that you join in a war against France, huh? Uh, it won't cost me anything to decline this. What is what is France trying to do? The Danish conquest of Holland. Dan Denmark is trying to conquer Holland? Oh, no, no, no. You, you, you've overstepped your bounds a little bit there, sir. Well, you only have a thousand troops. What were you thinking? You're doomed. You, you've just lost your war straight up, man. I'm not helping you. Heck, that's probably why you weren't helping me with Sweden. You got all your troops killed down trying to take over Holland like an idiot. We are experiencing a plague of pirates on our coasts. Who are you? The Coggin. I'm sorry, your coasts down here are having trouble with pirates, and you think that maybe I'm the one responsible? What a strange accusation. You're up to something. He's gonna he's either gonna back down or something, I don't know, but do you, I'm way over here, dude! I don't even know how I would get some boats over here. The major rivers don't extend that far. Well no, I guess they do. Okay, I take that back. I could actually sail some ships all the way up here. You know what? Just to screw you over, I should totally raid you. But I don't have any ships, so I'm not actually allowed to do that. But that would have been cool if I could, right? Totally could. Wait a minute! Oh, crap. This this lady is your daughter. Oh, right. Ah. Ah. Can we wait a couple months before you get mad at me so I can marry the woman? Please? Don't get mad at me. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I should have answered cordially. Dedo is a lion heart? That's interesting. I'm a bear, apparently. Which will make my wife happy, because she adores bears. She actually does. We have a special action available. We can probably introduce my heir to the realm. He's become gluttonous. Damn. Let's send out the invitation and try to introduce him to all my vassals. You have invited your vassals to partake in the formal introduction of your heir, Luder. He will have to exchange many pleasantries and act in a very formal way, something that might be tiresome for someone as young as him. However, you have full confidence that he will not disappoint you. All right, son. This is basically your equivalent of a bar mitzvah. So don't let me down. Let's disband these troops. There we go. Okay, Austrasia, do we want to just declare war on you and make you a tributary now? Uh, my council is totally okay with that. He's only got a thousand troops, and his ally is the King of Scotland, or Pictland at the time. Which I don't think is actually going to be much of a threat. So yeah, let's just go ahead and make him into a tributary so I can call him into all my French wars in the future. Which will be fun, I think. This guy has a favor. Huh, interesting. Make tributary. Let's raise up the army. Call forth the vassals. And get ready for some fun. We're going to screw over the French. It distresses me that you have perceived my earlier letter as accusing you and questioning your honor, as that was not my intention. Please accept my sincerest apologies for this misunderstanding and rest assured that I do not suspect you of involvement in pir piracy. I must distance myself from Kazar Clown Snake. Oh, I, I don't want to distance myself from him. No. 
No, 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 I'm, I'm marrying your daughter. I will accept your apology. Well, damn, I'm gonna lose the prestige I got for being accusatory. Oh, well, I guess it's a wash for me. But hey, in a couple of months, I'm gonna be this guy's son-in-law. So, uh, yeah, that'll be good. Godi Donor of Deventer is a renowned, godly, and learned vassal of yours. After having introduced himself to Luder, Donar approaches you with an offer. He is willing to spend some time teaching Luder some of the more intricate parts of the sagas in exchange for a favor. Luder gains a learning, I gain some piety, I owe him a favor, or there's no need for that, I could lose some piety. Do I care if my son has learning? This guy is a vassal. He's not on the council. A favor with him shouldn't really matter? Yeah, alright, fine. I will owe you a favor, sir. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I think it'll be okay. I mean, well, I can't see this possibly coming back to bite me in some way. Let's take a look at the laws. Do I want to pass medium tribal organization law? Everyone would support this, it turns out. That's interesting. Um, do I want to do it, though? I'm not sure, actually. Do I, want, do I want to try and push for more council power? Do I want to risk that? We need to be upgrading a lot of my earthen hill forts to stone hill forts so they can become proper castles. As Luder introduces himself to Godi Liuizu, the Unready, he is not only presents himself with grace, but also manages to impress Liuizu by skillfully complimenting him. I taught him everything he knows. He's impressed. Good job, my boy. Well done. It seems as if Luder is starting, uh, is starting getting along incredibly well with the child of one of the visiting vassals. Indeed, apparently Luder and Humfried Ulfstrysen are becoming fast friends. How lovely, they become close friends. Who's this kid? He's a twin. Yeah, I don't see any reason why you guys can't be friends. Okay. Just remember, son, he's not as smart as you. The following truces are expiring with King Theodo the Holy. Who's King Theodo? Wait, what? Why do I care if this truce is expiring? Oh, right, with Bavaria. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, I could attack Bavaria again. Got it. Thank you. Actually, realistically, it wouldn't be a bad idea for me to start going on a rampage. Conquer as much freaking stuff as possible pretty soon. But that's why I am forcing Austrasia to be a tributary. So I can get more money, so I can upgrade my holdings, and so on. Betrothed can marry. Is this lady still good? She's slothful, temperate, ambitious, and quick, and she's got reasonably good stats. I would gain some good prestige out of this, though. So, yes, this is a pretty good deal for me, I think. All right, this time let's try to learn my wife's name. Uh, Sati. My wife's name is Sati. You... I thought we accepted this. There we go. Friuin of Norden is a renowned fighter and tactician. After introducing himself, he approaches with another offer. One of my vassals. He also will make this guy better. Sure. I'll owe you a favor as well, but anything to make my heir really good. That's the goal. Okay, we're gonna get married. Child lacks a focus. Uh, whoops. It is evidently clear to all the visiting vassals that Luder has been infatuated with Wernicke's wife, the Baroness Angeliadis. While harmless, Luder is still following her around like a dog. Wernicke does not seem to be amused. Well, that's interesting. My son has a crush on this lady, this 24-year-old lowborn lady. Uh, sorry, man. Um, I mean, boys will be boys. I have no time for this nonsense. Yeah, I mean... At the same time, though, maybe my son will be quite a heartbreaker. He might seduce your wife, and I'm not going to stop him. As Luder introduces himself to somebody, he spills a beverage and insults this lady. Look, he's not infatuated with this lady. He doesn't care. He's, he's distracted. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but when boys have crushes, they just get really stupid sometimes. Their heads are in a crown. Uh, sorry, in the clouds. A Kagan Tengri Bogu of Charlik has decided to abandon nomadic life and settle down with his followers, making a new homeland. Uh, over here, apparently. Charklik? I don't think I really care, but okay. I guess it's kind of interesting. I've never played as a Nomad in CK2. That said, I haven't really play, uh, played very much CK2 in the first place, so... The last of your vassals have left, and Luder looks relieved. He's obviously exhausted, but he's done well. Vassals like him a little bit better, and we get some monthly prestige for my son. Not bad. Let's go kill these troops so that I can get the uh, war score. And we'll make a push... On Luxembourg. Siege down your castle. See how I feel about that. More women trying to kill each other. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. 
Do I have a siege leader? No, I do not. I need to, I need to check my commanders. These things cycle out so fast. A uh, really good marshal is preferred. Flat terrain es expert, really quite awesome. Uh, anybody with siege value? I don't see any. What's this? Unworthy priest. Huh. Well, I guess you'll make you into one as well. I could make some people into, like, my herdmen. Let's take a quick look-see here. You have done really well for me. I'm going to award you an honorary title. No, I'm not. Designated reason. Uh, Marshal. I shall make you... The Court Scald? Sure. Make you the Court Scald. Steward, who's actually not very good at his job. Can I find a better steward? No, not really. Oh, that sucks. Award honorary title. I will make you one of my herdmen. I don't think I can award anything to my spy master, though. Can I? A prestigious post. Steward of the realm in a function similar to a seneschal. Uh, okay, sure. We'll make her like me more. Seer. Let's award you a new honorary title. I'll make you into a herdsman as well. Just trying to make these guys happy. Have we managed to convert Khalra? We did. Okay, I need to pull off on do something else here. Uh, who should we convert? Guys down here, I think. The Catholics are the problem here. So let's convert Bamberg. There you go. Seems reasonable. I only have nine domain. I kind of thought my wife would be a little bit better than that, but oh well. Guess there's not much we can do about it. Sieging down by 15% per tick. That's not actually great, but it'll have to do for the time being. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these messages. Okay. Um, could upgrade some stuff here if I wanted to spend some prestige. Which I don't. Much more open to spending some money, but I don't have much. Well, I don't know. We'll see. There we go. That siege is down. What's this? Truce expiring with the King of Sweden. Large numbers have abandoned their post. That's fine. So Braunschweig. When I do go adopt feudalism, I will have a castle town level 2, city walls level 2, uh, keep level 2, barracks 1, training grounds 1. It's not going to be a bad castle, actually. That'll save me quite a bit of money. Uh, we get some tech points. I haven't looked at tech in a while. We got some culture points. Okay. What do I want? Noble customs for feudal vassal, city vassal, religious vassal, tolerance... Religious is pretty good. I'd pay a bit of a head of time penalty though. Maybe tolerance would be better. I do have some different cultures. Uh, you know, this could be more universally useful. Let's go for tolerance. As far as infrastructure, do I want improved keeps? Trade practices? Town infrastructure? Castle infrastructure? Improved keeps could be good. Buildings unlocked. Keep level 3. Huh, interesting. So... If I adopted feudalism right now, I don't think I actually would have gotten the castle walls. So let's go ahead and get improved keeps. And as far as infantry, military organization for morale or shipbuilding. I'm going to get shipbuilding. I actually don't know if it's going to spread any faster because I have a higher level of shipbuilding, but it's worth a shot. Let's actually take a look at our tech level. Um, we're really close to getting shipbuilding level 1 in some of my tribes. Really close. Kind of disappointed that it's not going faster. Holstein has them. I don't suppose I could actually raise any... No, I can't. Damn. Oh, well. Would have been nice. Would have been nice to get some ships. But for now, we are the Viking with no ships. I know. It's disgraceful. I agree. <laughs> Jan Hilweig seems to have a lot of independent opinions and refuses to listen to the priests. A uh, chance of her becoming patient, my daughter. Or, she becomes cynical. Eh, I'll try to make her patient. Eh, it worked! She's patient! Better intrigue, diplomacy, stewardship, learning. My daughter just improved significantly. Let's see. You are playful and brooding. Playful for intrigue, brooding for duty. Uh, playful and brooding. Let's go for an intrigue focus on my daughter. She's actually pretty good at it. You never know. 
She might be able to be able to do some cool stuff. Murder her way to the top of a realm. I'd love to see my daughter do that. We have no prisoners, which makes me sad. Maybe as I continue to siege down these temples and castles and stuff, I'll get some women. Chief wants to kill somebody. Stop it. Why are everyone trying to kill each other? At least no one's trying to kill me. Reinforced hill fort has been built in Osnabrück. Wunderbach. Do I want to get another one for another stone hill fort? So, when I adopt feudalism, um, what level of hill fort do I need in order to get a castle? I actually don't know. City walls level one. Let's take a look down here. Hang on. Earthen hill fort. Hmm. I don't know, actually. City walls. I mean, I would like to think that the wooden hill fort can technically become a keep, but I'm not convinced that it will. Still, for the time being, let's go ahead and upgrade a market city again. Just so I make more money a little bit faster. Marshal Enno told me about his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant that his belief would improve the military. Lose some money, get some military tech spread. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Adopt his ideas. I want, I, I want the shipbuilding tech to spread faster off of my capital. I think that's how it works. Somebody just inherited some territory. Did it break up the realm? I don't think so. Hey, look, I have a little territory down here. Where did that come from? We don't know. Okay, still looking pretty good. Uh, this last keep is about to go down. One more siege tick should do the job. Very good. Don't think I've captured any women. Nope. All right. Uh, what should I siege down next? I guess we'll go. Uh, we'll go here. That should be fine. You get another m commander in charge. Laws. Do I want to pass? Yes, I want to pass medium tribal organization. People should vote for it. Honestly, if I'm going to form feudalism, kind of now is more or less going to be the time to do it, I think. Well, I don't know. That's the thing. If I become feudal, I think I'm going to lose my tribal horde. Still, while the people like me and are likely to actually pass this stuff, I should take advantage of the fact that they love me so much, right? Probably. Let's go ahead and split the forces a little bit. Siege down another castle at the same time. Uh, this is a bishopric, actually. I don't know if I'm going to get any women out of this one, but we'll try. Look, I'm just doing this for the women at this point. Well, and the war score. I do need war score, but... It's most fun to think that I'm trying to get a bunch of women. Uh, my subject, Berenger, has converted. Praise Frey. I don't know who that is, so I don't think I care. Childhood focus. Ah, my other quick son. Hello! We will give you the struggle focus, as usual. Because the struggle focus is awesome. Training grounds has been built in Braunschweig. Excellent. So these are fully upgraded. Uh, I could go for a better war camp for light infantry. I could go for a better weaponsmith for morale. I could go for a better practice range. Um, let's go for the practice range. I want to get at least one of every building type. Save myself a little bit of money. Call allies, title loss, and succession. A lot of them appears. Eggertson. Yes, my sons would inherit a lot of titles, I'm aware. Special minor title available, Commander of Saxony. Du jour claims titles can be created. Okay. Your vassal is concerned about his non-inheriting sons. He asks you to consider them when looking for new vassals. I could always use new men. Give off Ostfriesland. Heck no. Uh, I will... No, no, I can't just give out land to anyone who asks. I mean, come on, what do you think this is, some sort of charity? If you ask, I'll have to give some out to everybody. And that would be disastrous for me. So I'm sorry you're not happy about that arrangement, but no, I'm not going to just give it to you. Come on. Again, this is not a charity case. I am king. In fact, I'm actually kind of insulted that you would even ask. Gotingen has converted. Gotingen? I don't know what that is. How's the religious map mode looking, anyway? It's looking pretty good, actually. Really good, actually. Old Germanic's not even a thing in most places. Is this Gotingen? No. This is Gotingen. Wonderful! So Ostfriesland is the only uh, old Germanic territory I still have here. Not bad, not bad at all. What's this? Arrange betrothal. Between my daughter and your son. Heir to the Swedish revolt. Oh, heck no. 
I'm not getting involved in that mess. Are you kidding me? That said, I should definitely consider getting my son uh, an, a, a, a betrothal here. Let's see. This lady's pretty good stats, but I'm looking for some good traits. You are 13 years old, 14 years old right now. So let's see if we can find something relatively close to your age, starting at about 11. Okay, uh, looking for good traits. We have an attractive girl. She's not very good in most other ways, though. She's timid. Uh, uh, not seeing much. Slim pickings. Slim pickings. Ouch. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go for the attractive girl. He'll have to wait a little while before he can get married, but... Snatch her up. I probably should have gotten him betrothed a while ago. Maybe there would have been some better options. It's a congenital trait we can add to the gene pool, though. It's worth a shot. Alright, we are going to uh, betroth you two. It'll be great. Who's worried? 73% war score now. We should be ending this video, but I'm going to try to keep this going. Uh, known plots, which we are automatically going to be ending. I'm shocked how long it's taking to get this guy sieged down. As he's going older, my son could use some guidance. It will require hard work and may not always be appreciated, but this is a chance to make my heir better. Do I try to make him ambitious, but then he'll be mad at me? We'll be rivals. He may even try to get me killed. Do we make him diligent? Ooh, if I become stressed. I already have the uh, hunting focus. There's a good chance I can get rid of stressed. Or I can teach him to be patient. And I lose a bunch of traits? No. We will become stressed and make him diligent. Be thorough. Make others count on you. Yeah. We're gonna have a good air. Young looter loves physical games and is developing a strong physique. <gasps> he becomes brawny. Yes, let's make him brawny. I don't care about bravery. Brawny is always better. Makes someone like me better. Nice. Offer peace. I accept. Thank you. I now have France as a tributary. Hooray! All right, we need to end this video here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time. Whoops. Hello. Done.